It all looks very confusing, yet 40 11-year-olds are designing their own movie films with very little supervision and using equipment which doesn't cost a penny. Filmmaking is not something for experts in photography. In the beginning, it's a matter of learning a new language, the language of pictures. Pictures like these, with plenty of action in them, should be your primers. Every picture tells a story, but you must teach the children to see it piece by telling piece, selecting the right details, and arranging them in the most effective order. This is the way cinema does it. These are the elements we presented. Train the eye to select. Children have a talent for it. The equipment is common to every classroom. The black paper frames can be of various sizes, but always in the ratio of 4 by 3, the shape of the cinema screen. Framing must avoid unwanted details in the corners. The pictures can be copied or traced, for the object is not beautiful sketches, but learning how to select those details which tell the drama of each picture. The drawings, let's call them shots from here on, must now be arranged in the best possible order. The children work in pairs, with freedom to choose their own pictures to get the best possible results. Bring the changes in these picture language lessons with a collection of magazines. Ask the children to select a picture, then pair it up with one from another book. The twosome should make a comment, a muse, or create a striking contrast. Leave some examples on display to speak for themselves.
draw sets of pictures like these, or use cartoon strips, or comics without captions. Ask each pair of children to arrange them in story order, using every card. In this one, the fisherman returns to his tent, unaware of the bear heading in the same direction. The man enters first, followed by the bear. Movie shots, like these pictures, can be rearranged. By moving four of the cards, it's the bear which is taken by surprise. Learn to select essentials. Although four of the cards are removed, the storyline is unbroken, but the tempo is speeded up. Editing is putting the right shot in the right place. See how the picture of the notice board can add a touch of humour. The film editor is able to alter speed, content or meaning through rearrangement. The bear story can be changed and even the camper turned into a dashing hero. Meanwhile, back on the lawn, the children have split up six to a group. A title or topic has been chosen and discussed as a possible film story. With Jack and Jill for a theme, this unit has decided the form of the story. Now to tell it piece by piece, just as we did with those printed pictures. The director tells his actors how much of the story to perform in this opening shot. The cast must be given the chance to rehearse each little scene. The director should always be open to suggestions from his actors. But this time, it's the cameraman who needs help. Watch the way he waves the camera about being much too close to the scene. Film action must be viewed from a point where all the action can be seen, yet keeping the camera still. It's the director's job to check what his cameraman is doing, even to select camera positions. The camera is a margarine box with a 4 by 3 opening one end and a peephole opposite. Black the inside of the box to throw the picture into relief. With the first shot selected, the unit artist sketches the detail for his storyboard. The exercise should result in a series of stills which tell the story. Anyone with half an eye can see you are one step away from putting it all on movie film. The film unit works in exactly the same way, staging their story piece by piece, shot by shot. Automation has made the handling of a camera very simple. Select your detail and press a button. Your lessons in picture language over three to four months 
will teach the children how to select. Pressing a button is a somewhat simpler matter. Now we've seen Jack and Jill in stills, let's see it in movement. Watch how each of the still pictures was the basis of a movie shot and how they flow into each other. 